Hi everybody and welcome to another golf tip. So as you can see we're here in the sand but we're actually going to be working on a drill to help improve your strike here today. It's a lesson I've literally just had with one of my students here at Bruff Golf Club. Um, so let's get straight to it. Why are we in the sand? Well the sand gives you immediate feedback of what you're doing down by the golf ball so you can start to see where you enter the sand and therefore you can see uh, how much control of your low point, the bottom of the arc you have. So here you can see I've compacted the sand, I've pushed the fluffy stuff away, compacted the sand and I've drawn a line here on the line of the ball. And what this student was struggling with was having, having a little too much lateral shift away from the ball and they were actually firing the hip line very, very aggressively. So I'm exaggerating this. But then there was this massive gap here between the, the uh, rib cage and the, and the right arm. And they were then having to uh, fling the club head with the right hand like so. And they were getting these impact positions that were occurring way before the ball. So we could see the speed was really, really high. They had very good club head speed. <coughs> but unfortunately, it was not actually imparting this onto the golf ball. So... The first point of call for us was to actually just start to tighten up that impact position. We drew this line. The drill was to swing no further than chest height. So here, chest, hands, chest height. And we started to try and appreciate a little bit more of this right arm coming back out in front of the rib cage and pressure going into the left side. And then we started to try and focus purely on, without a ball, the club head first touching the sand on or after the line. So we tried to keep it exaggerated to start with, but it was really trying to keep so far away from this old pattern of this. All right, so the setup was very similar. Chest height, arms back out in front of the rib cage, and then we started to rotate with this. And I could then see the lateness to the hit encouragement he the golfer was suggesting the feedback he was giving me was it was encouraging him to get his mass or his pressure moving forward and his mass up and over his lead side a lot earlier in the swing so once we drilled this five or six times we let him go onto the golf ball and have a little go with the ball in the way so let me give it a go chest height late in the strike strike okay and that's actually just hit into the bank but we can see the feedback straight away was nice and late in this strike there was no ground first the most important thing there for me was that it felt very very hot off the face it felt pressured off the face so let's give it another go there's my line ahead ahead Hip line is opening, a lateness to the hit, and a strike. Same again, line has been, is, is left undisturbed. So, really, really useful drill for you here to help improve the quality of your strike. What we noticed in this lesson was, with the eight iron, he may have got 140 yards out of it, but it was very very regularly kind of flying about 75 80 yards what appeared to be an okay strike but it was clear the ground was being hit first also the launch was so inconsistent because the loft was being flung at the ball like so so this impact position was creating so much inconsistency to the quality of the strike and therefore the ball flight um, so working on this bunker drill here drawing the line helps marry up that impact position to get it a lot more like the tour pros you'll feel a little bit more of a lean of the handle and a rotation through the lead side and you'll start to see on the ball more pressure with less speed again remember we're just going chest to chest and in the ball flight you'll start to see it squeeze a lot lower off the face you can see there on this lip here this a iron. I was kind of squeeze it so low to get it right on the camera, it didn't even get over the lip here. Um, so 
quality of the contact is a, is a really, really important thing. And you can practice that a, 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 a huge amount in the sand just from visualizing where you're entering the line. The other thing that this really, really does for you is it shows you your depth into the sand as well. So your depth into the, into the grass. You know, we don't need to be hitting down like so. This is not what we're trying to do. Uh, obviously, players and coaches talking about hitting down. We are not intentionally moving things down. We are getting the pressure shift, pelvis into the lead side, chest is starting to rotate, hips are starting to rotate, shaft is now leading. So as that club is now falling, we are actually starting to extend up, but the club is still in a descent. So one more. So that was really good, really flush, came out nice and low, and the quality of the strike was there. So I hope that makes sense. Any questions, uh, please leave them in the comment section below. If you've enjoyed this video and want similar content, then please like and subscribe so I can continue producing it. And uh, yeah, hopefully, you can improve the iron strike with this drill. Thank you.